Here are the Nuggets unloading from the team bus earlier, anxious to get down to business with this road battle looming. It's the NBA on pretty interesting backcourt matchup here, Grant, with a lot of star power at the guard positions on both sides. And you know, traditionally, B.A., when big guys match up, it's all about the power. But this contest is about finesse. Who can outplay and outsmart the competition? Let's take a look at our starters for Denver. Manning the backcourt, it's Murray and KCP. Gordon and Jokic, the combo inside. And it's Porter in at the small forward position. You know, when you look back on Stephen Curry's career, it's still amazing that he fell to the seventh pick of the draft. You think a few teams are grant that one, B.A.? As great as a shooter as he is, teams were scared off by his build because he didn't have that typical NBA strong body. Murray looking around. Jokic finds Murray. Jokic in the post, and he buries his first look. The combo guard, Murray, capable of hurting you with his scoring as well as with his passing. Curry against Murray. Curry's shot is off. Caldwell Pope, the pass to Murray. Pass to Jokic. Back to Murray. And here's Jokic from outside the arc. No good on the shot. Porter against Wiggins. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Thompson with it from the arc. Sends it home from three-point land. Because of his footwork and fundamentals, Thompson always looks on balance and does a great job of squaring his shoulder. And it's out of bounds. Still Denver's ball. So it's Denver now. It's a three-point game. Back to Murray. That one drops, and it comes off an assist from Porter. Skilled finish by Murray. He can score inside and outside, really anywhere on the court. Curry against Murray. On the attack, Curry uses the glass to finish the layup. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Now here's Murray. Here's Jokic. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. It's almost too easy for Jokic inside. His size and soft touch make short work of the shot. Here's Curry. Takes it inside. Uses the glass on the layup. Curry's got six. And defensively, you have to make him work harder than this, or it's going to be a long night. When it comes to Golden State over the last 10 to 15 years, what stands out to you the most, RJ? Just the fact that you can never count out the Warriors every time they've gone through adversity. They seem to come out of it even stronger. Such a clever player. Jokic is adept at using his body to get these shooting fouls. Grant, last season, Nikola Jokic came close to winning his third straight MVP. But in the end, he won something more precious, an NBA title. And that Finals MVP award more meaningful, both personally and in terms of his legacy, being a winner is what matters in the end. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Caldwell Pope against Thompson. The rebound by Wiggins. I'm not sure what happened there. You, you, his family's in the building. I don't know. You have to finish those. Count it. Good. That's where Curry will cross you up. If you play him to shoot, he just drives it. Murray from outside. He can't get that one to fall. That is not a guy you want to allow open looks for rain. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. The three from Thompson. Caldwell Pope pulls it in. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Here's Murray. Blocked! On the wing, Thompson. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. 
He has six. Nice timing on the pass from Green, finding the open guy with ease. Murray finds Jokic. And it falls for him. He's hit three of his first four attempts. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Ooh, yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Murray passes to Jokic. Now here's Caldwell Pope. Here's Porter. Cans it with nobody near him. Catch and release. Porter Jr. is so quick. Tough to close out on. Murray against Curry. Over Murray. Curry's shot is off. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. Murray against Curry. Murray inside. The shot no good. The Warriors have got six of ten attempts to fall. To the inside. Jackson Davis misses. Give the defender credit. Willing to challenge the shot. Lots of other guys just let them score there. Pass to Jokic. And he finishes. That makes him four out of five. And Jokic doesn't get a lot of lift on his shot. But he doesn't need it. I mean, he is money in the mid-range. Here's Curry. Soft touch off the glass. Curry's got 12. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. Outside Murray. Second shot opportunity. And Jokic lays it up and in. 11 points in the game. So listen, I mean, whether you put a body on Jokic or you don't, he will sneak in there for a second chance opportunity. Curry passes to Thompson. Curry against Murray. Right side Curry. Back to Thompson. A rebound by Murray. From about 16. No good. Stephen Curry getting it done for Golden State. He made a big impact scoring... And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Warriors. Oh, boy, they've been driving deep into that defense early on, and it's paid off. Great penetration from the perimeter so far. Another area they've excelled in is the points in the paint. They've been able to gouge the interior defense so far in this one. Small lineup with Paul and Curry pairing up in the backcourt. Jonathan Kaminga is out there with Gary Payton the second. And it's Looney in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Jackson against Paul. Pass to Jokic. Looney grabs a miss. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Outside Kaminga. Stolen! Here's Jackson. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. This is how ferocious Jackson can be. Tearing into the defense on the drive. Well, Coach Kerr calls him the moral compass of the Warriors team. Kevon Looney has been a cornerstone, RJ. He knows his role. It's defense, rebounding, and setting screens, and he does his role at an elite level. He's a connector in the locker room, and everyone knows that Loon is that guy. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. It's deflected, and they get it back. Count it. And it's Paul with the ball for the Warriors. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Draymond Green is one of the most versatile defenders in league history. He said, quote, I'm comfortable guarding anybody. But he also said, I love playing against those big guys. They're thinking they've got a mismatch, but I'm built for this. It won't be as easy as you think it's going to be, Brian. Allie, he always takes that challenge, doesn't he? Thank you. Draymond Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. Andrew Wiggins comes in for Peyton. Shot is good by Gordon. 
Gordon's got his first bucket in this one. Yeah, nice touch from the big man. Gordon just burrowing himself into the paint and going to work. Pass to Wiggins. Fires for three. Caldwell Pope pulls it in. The Nuggets have gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Jackson finds Jokic. In the paint. Jokic going off. Helps his team in so many ways. Jokic is more than just a leader. Golden State has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. And the foul on Chris Paul. That's foul number two for him. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. A different look for Denver. Michael Porter comes in for Brown. And Murray subbed in for Jackson. Over to the wing. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will have it. And David West in the house. Take it in the game. You know, West won a pair of rings with the franchise. I'm sure Warrior fans are happy to see him here in the building. And that's how you defend. He wasn't showing any mercy with that swap. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Curry against Caldwell Pope. And again, no good by Golden State. The Nuggets have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. And Grant, the Nuggets are in uncharted territory this year. They are the defending champs. Yeah, B.A., I mean, they'll have a target on their back all season. They retain most of their talent and core. And with Jokic leading the way, they remain favorites to repeat. Curry against Caldwell Pope. Wiggins outside. Up and over Gordon. Wiggins, no good. Probably not the shot they had in mind. But you can't fault him. He had a clean look. Back to Porter. All sorts of time. Jackson Davis grabs a miss. Got to move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. And here's Denver. They've only allowed five points in the quarter. Pass to Jokic. Here's Porter. And here's Murray. Shot clock at six. Jokic with a screen on Paul. Caldwell Pope finds Jokic. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. The Warriors have gotten only two of eight field goals to go in the second. The three from Curry. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. Jokic has got four rebounds now. Outside Murray. To the middle. Let's it go from 11. And it's Jokic. That time on the assist by Murray. Jokic has got four points in the quarter. Timeout called. The Warriors. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh. Keep those batteries charged. Yeah. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. Murray, no good. The Warriors trailing. To snap the cold streak. Curry creates inside. And this has become expected from Curry. Everyone knows how dangerous he is at getting to his spots and capitalizing. Murray from outside. Curry with the block. There's the drive. Up and in on the layup. Curry's got 19 points. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone. Until someone stops him, just let him roll. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. You got to blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. Golden State has gone just one of six from the perimeter here in the second. Pass to Wiggins. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Well, Richard, as the first overall pick, some of the highest expectations were put on Wiggins at a very young age. Yeah, while playing high school ball, some recruiter analysis called him the Michael Jordan of Canada. That's some big shoes to fill. If it's not the highest expectation ever, I don't know what is. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Murray for three. The Warriors pull it in. And he continues to cast away. But the results just haven't been there tonight. Inside. Here's Wiggins. 
Porter pulls it in. Murray from outside. Cash. Assisting on the play was Porter. Murray's got five. You have to watch Murray closely at the perimeter. He won't hesitate to flex his range. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. The Warriors on top. They're up by one. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Stephen Curry having a dominant impact in this game. Yeah, tonight he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. And you love that mindset he has going at the rim. He hasn't settled for anything, and he's been the aggressor all game long. On the court for Denver, Gordon and Jokic the combo inside. Manning the backcourt, it's Murray and KCP. And it's Porter in at the three. The small forward, Murray with it. Now guarded by Curry. That shot wide open. And the Nuggets lead by one. And Curry's got the ball here for the Warriors. Ooh, Curry eluding the D. Staying cool under pressure. Curry meets some opposition inside, but just focuses on the task at hand. Here's Murray. He's got five. And another three for Denver. We've seen five lead changes so far. Neither team able to pull away. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to come down to the wire. It's Wiggins on the wing. Over Porter. And it's Denver with a rebound. Jokic has got a rebound number five here tonight. Well, there's no question that the Warriors are the team of the decade, Grant. Oh, I mean, B.A., think about it. Six finals appearances in eight years. They did miss the playoffs in two of those seasons, but they still came away with four championship rings plus two MVP trophies. Not bad. The three from Thompson. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got six rebounds in the game. Pass to Murray. Fires the three. Pure from three-point range. Three points. Murray's got 11 points. When he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. Back to Curry. Wiggins passes to Thompson. From deep. And again, no good by Golden State. Denver has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. A chance here to catch up with Alley from the sideline. The Warriors are pursuing a two-timeline approach, competing for titles while also building a young core for their future. It does not come cheap. This season, they're paying record-high luxury tax with the total team payroll around half a billion. Brian, the commitment to winning now and down the road is evident. Deep pockets, Alley, that's for sure. Thank you. Green against Gordon. Green, the pass to Thompson. Thompson with another miss. Yeah, you know, he usually makes you pay from that range. Pass to Murray. Jokic the screen. And again, Denver no good. The Warriors have gone only one for six here in the second half. To halt the run. And a nice layup by Curry. Curry's got 23. And you're asking for trouble when you give Curry this positioning. He's so efficient down there. Curry against Murray. Shoots over Curry. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. The Warriors have gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. Here's Wiggins. Here's Thompson. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. The officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. Clay isn't afraid to get physical if he feels like he can get to the line. And with players like Moran and Giannis last season getting undercut around the rim, would you support moving the charge circle out of foot, Grant? You know, B.A., that's a good idea. I mean, I don't see why not. The league wants more highlights and less injuries, so it seems to make a lot of sense to me. And the foul on Chris Paul. That's his third foul of the game. He didn't have his feet planted. Pass to 
Murray. On the wing, Caldwell Pope, defended by Thompson. The offensive rebound. Textbook defense from Green, still one of the game's best defensive players. Golden State has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Here's a three from Paul. He drops it from range. Paul's got five points. And the Nuggets shooting 40% from the field in this one. Murray against Paul. There's the three. The Nuggets with another miss. You kind of wonder where his head's at. The shot selection hasn't been there. And of course, that one was just crazy. Veteran play by Paul. Outstanding at finding ways to score through contact. The Nuggets trail. Richard, looking at Chris Paul's career up until this point, he's someone that makes every team he's on better. Yeah, it's because he's just such a great leader. Someone that commands excellent, not just from himself, but his teammates and his entire organization. Here's Jokic. And he drops in the layup off the glass. 17 points in the game. Oh, he's putting on a scoring clinic, guys. If it wasn't for him, they would not be in this game. And Paul gets it to go. Wow, even against contact, defense does all they can to stop Paul inside, and he still slips by them. Now a timeout called by Denver. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Substitution on the court. Here's Brown, defended by Thompson. Jackson down low. Looney's there. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Warriors. Golden State with the ball. They're on an 11-2 run. Here's Paul. He can't get it to go. Good D by Murray. Jacks up a three. Nope, four for seven now. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Oh, my goodness! He'll go to the line with a chance at a four-point play. It's going to be on Jonathan Kaminga. You know, I just love the moxie Murray has to his game. He's so fast and supremely confident. Here's Paul. Drops in the layup for two. Paul's got 11 points. Ooh, in a tight game. High percentage looks become even more valuable. Pass to Watson. Puts it up from 17. Another shot. Kaji, good. And the Nuggets lead by two. It's nice to see they're not settling for three-pointers. These guys are putting in the work inside. I just love the aggressive finish. I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. Murray against Paul. Murray passes to Najee. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got five assists in the game. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. Here's Paul. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's impressive what an enduring talent Chris Paul has been. A lot has changed around the league, but CP3 is still doing his thing and leading his guys to success. He hits the second from the line. There's six seconds left in the third. Here's Murray. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And we've reached the end of the third quarter. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Serving it up on a platter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page? Woo. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. Small lineup with Paul and Curry pairing up in the backcourt. Kaminga is out there with Kevon Looney. And it's Peyton in at the three. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Paul passes to Curry. This one for three. Oh, Curry! A sick triple! Simply the greatest shooter we have ever seen. Every time he makes another three-pointer, he's adding to the record. 
Jackson down low. He's covered by Curry. Jackson gets the bucket. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Paul into the lane. Deflected. Here they come with numbers in transition. Shot from 12. Jackson can't get it to go. The Warriors have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Pass to Payton. Outside Paul. With some arc. Goes back up. Back to Payton. Now here's Kaminga. Now here's Paul. Defended by Jackson. Curry's shot is off. The Nuggets have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Jackson with it. And it's Paul picking him up. Outside Murray. Shot from the top of the key. Bullseye! And it's a four-point Nugget lead. And so it's Golden State with it. Paul passes to Looney. Oh, Looney with the smooth move inside. You create shots as easily as Paul does for his teammates. He is just a great setup guy. So both teams making some changes here. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Denver's head coach was saying to the team. He tried to loosen the tension a little, asking his guys, are we having fun? I know I am. Just relax out there and follow the game plan. We've got this. All right, appreciate it, Allie. Jackson, the pass to Jokic. Good work there as it goes. Jokic has got 21 points in the game. And it's Jackson's responsibility to find his open teammates in a terrific dime there. And Paul gets it to go. A clutch basket there. The later we get into this game, the more they need him to attack the rim. Down low. Here's Caldwell Pope. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Jackson Davis has got five rebounds tonight. Here's Curry. Oh, the driving skills are underrated for Stephen Curry. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Here's Jackson. Tipped. And they're able to recover. Jokic gets the bucket. Here's Paul. Pass to Jackson Davis. Yes! And it's Paul with the assist that time. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Yeah, it's clear why they go to him in these moments. They know he's going to deliver for him. Now a timeout called by Denver. Man, it's been quite a game for Stephen Curry. He's getting loose and doing work. They want to talk this over and find some answers. For the Nuggets, Gordon, he's checked in for Watson. Porter Jr. comes in for Brown. And Murray subbed in for Jackson. Here's Gordon. Long range from the inbound. It's kept alive. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter to take the lead. And he takes it up and lays it in. This is Paul's veteran know-how becoming a factor. He is not afraid of these moments. Pass to Jokic. Left side Porter. Three-pointer. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. And another miss by Denver. And here's Kuminga. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. The lead is two. The wing on the left. Jackson Davis. No good on the three. And lockdown defense against one of the best three point shooters in the league. Uh, and a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Now, this right here could decide the game. Now it's all up to Aaron Gordon. He is a cool customer. And the Warriors make some changes. Draymond Green, he's checked in for Looney. Andrew Wiggins comes in for Kaminga. And it's Clay Thompson in for Paul. In a close game, every point matters. Terrific focus at the line there to help them keep pace. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. They've been hitting consistently from mid-range all game. It's been a big part of their offensive production in this one. Yeah, they've also worked at pounding the ball inside. It gave them high percentage looks all game, and it's paid off. Golden State has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. 
deep three-point land. Jokic grabs the board. Jokic has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Murray passes to Jokic. And that one's good. Jokic has got 25 points. Morphing from second round pick to superstar. Jokic comes up big for this team night after night. Here's Curry. Porter pulls it in. Denver has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Pass to Murray. Jokic with it. Main covering. The baseline, Jay. And he buries it. <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. Here's Curry. The kick out to Wiggins. Oh, he drained it from downtown. If there's any question about the clutch gene, you know Wiggins has it. And this is so critical. They now have to score every trip up the floor. Pretty much they have to be perfect the rest of the way. That puts tremendous pressure on their offense. Here's Murray. Pass to Gordon. Oh, misses the dunk. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Yeah, no, you had to do that. I mean, you can't allow them to dribble out the top. Oh, he doesn't hit the first. That was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. Not his strongest place on the floor. Wiggins putting in the work to get better. It's all about getting a three right here. We'll see what they draw up. Three-pointer is a must. To the left wing. That was a good call. The defense wasn't established. He gets the first, and that brings him within two here. I mean, look at his face. Jokic knows he can do this. It's just a matter of execution. In a tight game, he is exactly who he wanted at the line. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. Second one is good. Getting both at the line. And it's a three-point game. What composure at the line. Forcing your opponent to look for the three-pointer now. Here's Caldwell Pope. Once Gordon spots an open guy, he immediately moves the ball. Just well-coached offense right there. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. <laughs> Off the inbound. And that one goes out. Touched by Murray. Oh, 
Goes up off the inbound. No good. Time expires. We're going to overtime. We'll take a quick break and then get you back to the action. Boy, these teams have battled tooth and nail for four quarters. Now we're headed to overtime. This one should be fun. On the perimeter, KCP and Porter Jr. Gordon and Jokic the combo inside. And it's Murray in at the point. And it's all from three-point range. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Here's Green. Rebound by the Nuggets. Outside Murray. Three-pointer. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Green's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. They swipe it. Thompson against Caldwell Pope. Porter, the pass to Gordon. Pass to Murray. Here's Jokic. Got a hand on it. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will have it. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. And so it's Green who brings up the ball for the Golden State Warriors. Here's Curry going inside. Uneasy two on the layup. Curry's got 35. There is no moment that is too big for Steph Curry. Caldwell Pope, a screen on Curry. Pass to Jokic. by Wiggins. Wiggins has got six rebounds now in the game. Thompson right side. From 18 feet away, the rebound by Murray. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. Yeah, it's him right now. He's just in his own head. Not much you can do to try and push through it. Here's Wiggins. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Porter's got his sixth rebound on the night. And Clay Thompson picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Curry against Murray. Caldwell Pope, a screen on Curry. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Oh, and they take the lead. Oh, man. I mean, the passing from Jokic is off the charts. Gave his man just a great look. To the cup. Curry. It doesn't go for him. Good D by Murray. They'll probably slow things down now. Burn the clock while you have the lead. I like that. Pass to Jokic. Stolen by Green. In transition, here come the Warriors. He is tenacious. Love to watch him battle on the defensive glass. And so they foul intentionally. Good on the first. And that'll put him up two. And this team feels comfortable with Murray at the line, especially when the game is up for grabs. And the game has come down to this. They need a score, or you can practically call it quits. Curry passes to Thompson. The three. He's off from three. And now they foul and stop the clock. He drops the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a five-point game. Um, and cool, and his free throw put a bow on this one. Nice way to finish the game. Now a timeout called by Golden State. They're losing by five. 11 seconds left in the first overtime period. All right, guys. What's your take? No doubt. They've got to get a quick bucket here. Yeah, and it has to be fast. They've got to take the first good look they get. He's been tremendous at corralling misses all day.